I'm drinking Ashover Breweries 1910 Porter made um, with an historical London porter using you know traditional the tradi traditional methods from that time. Anyway. Oh, oh, there you go. It's a little bit of a smoky one. So well late tonight. First of all, good evening. First I'm waiting for the uh, central eating bloke to finish. Good evening. First I'm waiting for the central eating bloke to finish and then the wife drives me to Sainsbury's and Asda. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> good evening. So yeah, dark. Good evening. Black paw with a quite a large head on it. <laughs> Nearly two inch head. And uh, yeah, 1910 Porter. Good evening. Bloody late tonight. I hate being late. It's a thing where I've never ever been late for work. Never in my life have I been late. Good evening. Oh, apart from being late and cold, they've only just got the eating back on in the, in the house about six o'clock. No eating for two days. Oh, it's been chilly. I know, disgusting. Six o'clock's the time. Can't be done with this this late at night. Still working. Bloody hell. At home working, I gather. Not 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 at the office working and. Uh, but having a rain while you're working, can't fault you there, can't fault the style. So, I'm doing two dark beers tonight. Good evening. Two dark beers. This is the 1910 Porter. And funnily enough, I'm doing another Porter straight after. Good evening. <sighs> Certainly a multi nose. Using an old fashioned. Um, Old-fashioned methods this was done. Oh. I tend not to watch any football these days. I, I can't take the stress of watching it. I think all the shenanigans last year, that other workplace, um, it just pushed me too far and I just can't watch football now. Can't fault you, the plum porter. So for those who didn't see it, St. Peter's are doing um, a thing on there, a random act of kindness, which I think is an awesome thing. And I mean, I've had some random acts of kindness myself just lately. Um, and you, you know, you put name down to somebody, and I think it's a good thing. You know, you know, if you know somebody who deserves a random act of kindness. Yeah, no, fuck it. <laughs> You despair, don't you, at your clubs? You're like, oh, God. You know, and the Forest have spent a lot of money over the years. Good evening. Boss Brewing American Pale Ale. No, not a... May have done. You know, over the years, you have so many random beers, and not everyone strikes a chord. So they could... I might have reviewed one of the Boss Brewings. I didn't see the other one, to be honest. Ghost Ship Citra Pale Ale. Don't think I've had that either. Double Chock Stout by Young's absolute cracker of a beer. Yeah, still surprised that they're doing it though. Well, I'm doing two beer reviews and then I'm going up the house to cook two steaks. So, because I'm late. The house is like a shithole. You know, because we've had a builders in. Fucking mess everywhere. And they're coming back tomorrow to finish stuff. So Adnam's ghost ship. Yes, I have had that. Can't remember, to be honest. Um, I know, I liked it. I know that. But Sam Smith oatmeal style. I've got this to review. Quite a nice porter, really. And uh, then I've got that to review. From Eight Sail Brewery. A Damson Porter. So, yeah, my mate was down there yesterday at the Eight Sale Brewery, two pound fifty a bottle. There's like thirty different bottles that they do, and he's going down next week. So I might have to slip him a bit, bit of cash to go and get me some. 
So, I'm definitely getting nuts in the aftertaste on this. Good evening. And uh, I ain't got it on at the moment, but tomorrow's reviews, I'll, um, your parcel, the parcel came from you. So I'll sort you, I'll have a chat to you later. I'll find your email. Uh, I can't, couldn't get your email up on my phone earlier to uh, message you back, but I will do it later. But yeah, that is a, a, a very nice random act of kindness. Very nice. Yeah, £3.50 is a good price. Uh, so that's Eight Sale Brewery, their site. You go on their site, there's absolutely shed loads. IPA in a bottle, top three. <sighs> oh, now you're asking. Jesus, that's a toughie. Bloody hell, I can't even think. IPAs in the bottle. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I like some of the Green King stuff, actually. I like their reserve, their IPA reserve. That's not too bad, as IPAs go in bottles. Um... Screech Owl, uh, American IPA. Good evening. Um, I've still got a load of their beers. I've still got at least seven St. Peter's beers. I will think of some random things to do. Definitely like the idea of doing a, doing a plum. Good evening. I'm trying to think of IPAs. It's not in bottles there's a lot of ipas out there in there these days you've got to have something good to stand out from the crowd these days i mean i like brew dogs triple ipa um can't remember the proper name of it but um that was nice so anyway definitely getting nuts in the taste definitely a good multi beer used Ancient, some ancient London yeast apparently made this. And I was going to review this um, off camera, but I'm that bloody late. Mr. President. Yeah, I do like Mr. President. There is, that's a double IPA. They do do a triple as well, don't they? Yeah, Green King's normal IPA. Green King's reserve. I actually don't mind that. Yeah, I think a, a plum day is definitely one. St. Peter's, Morrison's and the uh, Cranbourne. Oh, God, be nappy. I even forgot about that. I've got that. I think I've got that. Oh, no, I've got the bread and butter. Bread and butter. I'm starving. I've had no tweets since this morning. <laughs> so for me, a good traditional. Um, definitely getting nuts in the taste. Unless I've got a bit of uh, Snickers left in the. Um, yeah. <laughs> left in from earlier. Five breweries on the Isle of Man's. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I've actually, this one, this one my mate picked up for me. Pl another plum, basically another plum porter because Dam's in his plum. But I'm reviewing that tonight, so. And I won't get it again, probably. So, you know, it's one of those. Oh, dear. What a day, what a good day. Got to work, big, like five tons of chippings. Chipped my green ass, my green ass is chipped now. Chipped, chipped paths at work where I've got vegetable beds either side. Cracking day. And the weather, the weather, bloody hell, lovely weather. Good evening. Eight Sale Brewery. I'm not sure where they're based, but... Um, Huh. 
Oh. Now apparently low cost beer are putting a load of new beers on tomorrow. Um he posted on Facebook earlier a picture of his um I missed that joke. He posted a picture on the um God that's hitting me quite hard that is. What's the um ABV? Five percent. And uh yeah, he posted some pictures of load a load of new beers in his shop. But I couldn't zoom in close enough to actually check the beers out. So uh, it should be interesting to see what goes on tomorrow. Might actually, I might have to actually do some spending. Is it Lincolnshire? Ah. Yeah, that, that rings a bell because um, this particular mate, he's, they've got a big site at Lincolnshire where they're putting aircon units in. So he was probably on site putting aircon units in. So not too far away, Lincolnshire, really. Me, tight arts. <laughs> not tight, just ain't got the money. Well, I'm still tempted to do a Waitrose order. Good that I missed out on the Imperial. You know, the Vintage and the Imperial. Both not in stock anymore. And I think the Wild Beer... Ninkazi, I think that's out of stock as well, or certainly at my retros, which is a bit sad, really. The stronger version of Abbott's okay. Morrison's for a, by a long way. Morrison's uh, Tesco's has, has gone on the downhill, certainly these last few months. Uh, Asda is laughable. Yeah, St. Peter's are doing an act of kindness uh, where they where you tag somebody who deserves it um, and they, they get a, they'll get a free box of um, their ultimate selection box. So I thought 12 degrees again, same as yesterday. Um, yeah, they'll get a free if you tag somebody who deserves a random act of kindness, they'll they'll do that. But also. Badger Beers, they're doing free delivery as their ran, their act of ran, on, on random act of kindness day. Sad thing is, no other breweries have done anything. I was looking at other breweries today, not one. You can if you like. I mean, I'd probably give it away to somebody because there's bound to be somebody out there who needs um, St. Peter's Beers to review. But although oh, the plum porter, I don't know if I could give that away. There's more, you know, there's not just them six. There's a hell of a lot more. I mean, I've done 2,000 videos, nearly 2,000 reviews. Yeah, I like St. Peter's. Good, good brewery. And uh, yeah, there's a lot more. There's some absolute perlers because um, but it's searching for all the videos. You know, I don't want to watch all my videos again. I can't stand the sound of my own voice. God, no. No, no, I'd never delete the junk videos. I put them on so people can have a laugh at me, basically. I don't mind. I don't mind people having a laugh, you know. If you can't laugh at yourself, then, you know. I look in the mirror every day and fucking laugh. I think, Jesus Christ, I'm getting old. <clears throat> right. Well, that was a while back then. Oh, a fair few times. Yes, one of my top five beers, it would be. Yeah, there'll definitely be a plum night one Saturday. Try and get, oh, certainly the Titanic and Morrison's and Cranbourne Poacher, because they're readily available. Well, if you can laugh at yourself, then when someone takes the piss, it never um, it never bothers you so much. Uh, I suppose it depends on the, the person taking the mick. You know, if it's the wrong person taking the mick, then, <laughs> you know, woof. <laughs> so this is going down a treat. Far too easy. Might have to kill the review and do three reviews instead of two. Good evening. Yeah. 
or the the people that can give it, then when you give them it back, they ain't got a clue what you're on about. The original Blue Moon and Oh Garden, yeah, they are a bit similar. Wheat beer, if you don't like wheat beers, yeah, you'll struggle. Yeah, I mean, I always... In the jobs I've been in, people the people that know you know that you're not doing it to be horrible. Oh, the Luminous Nights. Been there a while, hasn't it? Yes. I might knock off at 20 minutes and then just do free reviews. Sod it, eh? As long as I'm not down the shed. Very busy today, very busy. Um, putting floor in, uh, putting chipping floor in, in the greenhouse. Uh, putting a patio down. Doing a new bed, yeah. Very busy. It's going to look brilliant in the summer. Well, I hope so. All my bloody effort. What we don't need now is any more, any more really bad frost like we had the last two weeks. I need a nice nightcap. So I'll kill this off about 20 minutes because, to be honest, I'm already down at the bottom. And, oh, me, nearly dropped it. <clears throat> so, very malty on the nose. This chocolatey and coffee in the aroma, but the malt rules. There's definitely nuts in the taste. Smooth on the mouth, followed by a, a slight bitterness. It's all this chatting, I forget to actually do the review. I had somebody at 12 o'clock last night messaging me about the, um, or emailing, about one of my reviews. And they said, did you actually review the beer? So I had to actually pinpoint the beer itself and send it back. And... Uh, it was it was an interesting um, comment, so I had to I had to put them. You know, I was still up at twelve o'clock. Although I don't know why, because I was I'd had a few uh, sherbets at that time, a few swift ones to get me to sleep, and I was still wide awake. Slept like a baby though. I believe when all my spirits have gone, because when they've all gone, that's it. I'm not tempted to come down the shed and lay on. And just uh, have a swig. That cracking one litre bottle needs to go. I need to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, it's been... You know, obviously I had issues last year. Up till August I had some really shitty issues. But since then, it's took me a time to get back to the normal me. The normal me is a very, you know, <laughs> piss-taking, have a laugh. Yes, I've I've reviewed Feeling Foal, Double Dragon. I've actually um, re-edited the playlist. There's a it's on the play. If you look at my playlists, it's on there. The review. I'm not sure if I give it a good review or not, but I definitely reviewed it. You know, in the early days of the channel, I was a little bit brutal in some reviews, and now I try not to be so brutal. I try to be more positive. But if there's a negative element point out the negative element the brambles wumbly cure was beautiful yeah i've worked on my own since august forty days i always tend to have a nightcap yeah 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 you know there's a lot of beer reviewers a lot of good beer reviewers out there that for whatever reason Oh, yeah, I reckon I reckon 20 to 25 minutes is enough for any review, really. But um, there's a lot of good beer reviewers out there that aren't getting the the views that they deserve to get. And yet there's. And then you look at some of the beer review, not I don't know if it's beer reviewers. Oh, £7.50 for delivery. Oof. Yeah, still got the dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, still got the dog. He's doing well. Still as nutty as ever. He's old. He's sleeping more. 
bless him. But um, yeah, he's still there, and he, and he absolutely loves his family. You know, uh, it, the day when that sad day comes, when he's, I'll be absolutely in bits. Ramble Ale, 4.4. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Hello. Oh, I can't do a four. I don't do many four-minute um, reviews, to be honest. I start rattling. I can't help it. You know, it's just, just, just that. I can't do it. Four for six quid. Depends on the supermarket. Um, if I was going for, not for not for review purposes, for pure drinking purposes, to say Morrison's, uh, Old Tom, King Goblin, Titanic Porter, Adnam's Broadside. But it all depends what day you're on, and depends what time. It depends in the year when you go. Oh yeah, the dog loves steak. Flipping out. Yeah, and pork, chicken. Adnam's broadside is, is just, for an old beer, just defies all logic. No, I work on my own all day long. No, no one helps me, no. I do a lot of work for a lone worker. But I have to because, you know, suffering with anxiety, Everything's chugging through my brain all the time. Pisses me off. I need to take tablets that knock it off. But the tablets for anxiety actually slow your brain down, which is no good because then you forget things even more. So I try and do I try and do positivity over negativity. Do thou. Oh. Proper job is all right, isn't it? It's proper job the stronger one. I do forget. That Good evening. Yeah. Adnam's broadside, it's just ridiculous how an old beer that old has so much complexity and yet Adnam's broadside can go against any of the craft beers, in my opinion, on pure taste, aroma, taste and certainly strength. Um, it's just an unbelievable beer. And, you know, whoever brewed it originally is absolutely, they are gods. And, uh, you know, in some ways, Adnan's broadside should be the king of beers. Good evening. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it is, it's truly a, a defining beer. Yeah. I was going to end the review, but everyone's talking now, so. I've looked on both their channels and, uh, the, you know, every beer review is very different. I've still got other beer reviewers to check out. There's obviously so many hours in the day. I don't watch every single review by every single beer reviewer. I don't think anybody could. You know, everyone's churning two or three or four beer reviews out a day. It'd be, you know, you'd, you'd have to be at home all day to watch beer. I mean, to be honest, you know, after so many, you'd get fed up, I would have thought, but. I flit, flit, when I see somebody live, I'll flit in, see how they are, see what they're doing, and, uh, you know, see if there's anything interesting that they're doing that I'm not. I mean, I'm not into food reviews, but, you know, that's up to each in, in, each individual. Oh, yeah, I've still got dickhead neighbours across the road. Yeah. So she's got a boyfriend up the road, and uh, obviously broke lockdown all the way along. The boyfriend comes down, they close the curtains halfway. She lives, she sleeps downstairs, kids upstairs. And she shuts she, she pulls the curtain across halfway. And you can you know that they're at it, you know, shagging, obviously. And uh, then all of a sudden the put the curtain goes back, and all of a sudden she's pulling the trousers up, and you think, you dirty bastard. Pull your fucking curtains shut properly. I mean, no one wants to sit. I mean, you know, she's she's as she's as horrible as a personality as she is, you know, to look at. And which I don't normally say that about people, you know, um, we all what are what we are, you know, what we look like is what we look like, you know, it's uh, 
but uh, she's pure awful person yeah yeah I mean I was hoping she was supposed to be leaving 10 years ago and fuck off to Skagness but she never did <laughs> so I've got I've I'll end this review so I can start another review. No, I don't. It's fucking awful. Couldn't see at the windows. Every time I look out the window, all of a sudden, they're automatically at the windows. So I see something on the street. She's not a body like a Baywatch. No, no. Body like Ilda Ogden. Uh, no. Yeah, no. I don't want to be too cruel. It's not, that's not really me. But, um, but she's an horrible person, horrible personality. You try and be nice to people, but she's like that person I worked with for years. Uh, sorry, she's like that person I worked with last year. She's got his personality and it's not a nice personality. Um, so yeah, 5% there. Oh shit, there's some left in. Whoa. All right, that's it then. Yeah, I mean, luckily, I've got brilliant neighbours all around. I've got um, a couple of black families, they're brilliant. I've got an Asian family, they're brilliant. I've got white neighbours surrounding me, they're all brilliant. I've got students on the side, brilliant. Everyone's brilliant, bar one twat across the road and one drug dealer down the road. But you can't pick your neighbours, can you? So I think I'll be drinking this for a minute or two. So, yeah, a good multi beer, um, black poor, off white head, good thick off white head, brewed in the traditional way, that's why it's called 1910 Porter. Gotta say, Ashover Brewery, you know, they do make, if you ever go to Ashover Brewery's website, their range of beers is actually quite stunning. All, all more traditional, they're not a craft brewery, they're more, more traditional brewery. Uh, the head brewer's a lady. Um, reggae jumper I ain't got a reggae jumper <laughs> and uh, yeah good tasting beer malty on, on, on the nose um, chocolatey coffee a bit of that on the taste definitely roasty toasty blue monkey breweries blue monkey beers brilliant blue monkey pubs Lincoln Bear breweries uh, beers they're fantastic but you know, there's so many in Nottingham. Um, Castle Rock, Black Iris, Totally Brewed, Liquid Light, uh, Magpie Brewery, um, Flippin' Neck, but Ali, Lenton Lane Brewery, um, Nottingham Brewery, amazing amount of breweries. We are not short of decent breweries. Yeah, I'll probably do more cider reviews when when um, not on a live because cider reviews don't get as many people following, you know. So I do it on a <laughs> yeah. I don't that mulling the mulling mulling it over side. That was a that was rum. Yeah, that got a zero point five. I mean, it was, it was blooming evil. It wasn't the nicest of ciders, but I'll be honest. So, yeah. Yeah, I had to pour it away. I mean, I never pour beer away. I don't even pour prune juice wine away. So that tells you something. Yeah, drinks calling, bad. It won't great. I might have had a drink when I, when I reviewed it as well, you know, because do you find also, for those who actually do beer reviews, do you find also when you've had a drink that you're more brutal on that review? You know, you drink it and you think, oh, fucking hell, this is rancid. Uh, not in that, you know, not swearing, obviously, but do you find that you're more, more, you know, what's wrong with Carling? <laughs> At a time and a place, Carling's okay, though. 
as to sell it, Sainsbury's sell it. Mm, I think Morrison's may sell it. Dam yeah, I remember the Dam Busters ones. They were they were all good, good adverts. That was a fantastic porter. Uh, I'm not going on about the difference between porters and stouts. I've done the reading. It's quite interesting. It's funny you should say about the red card, but I won't do that tonight. I'll save that till tomorrow. There's a package that came today and it made made both me and my wife chuckle. But I want to save it till tomorrow first. Um, so, yeah, absolutely fantastic porter. Four beers in one review. Shit. I like to separate the reviews. Um, if I can. Beer chats are different because you're not really reviewing. For me, cracking porter. Good evening. Um, you know, for 5%, it tastes strong. I mean, it's given me a bit of a walloping, to be honest. Good evening. Um, like I've said, you know, multi nose coffee and chocolate in the taste, definitely a bit of roasty toasty in the taste. Um, I'll never end this with you this way, I'll just keep talking. Uh, I need to stop looking at the comments, so I'll just keep talking all night and uh, we'll be here for two hours. Um, what I can say, fantastic porter, really enjoyed for five percent, it tasted like an eight percenter. Absolutely amazing. Out of five, for me, a good 4.4 out of five. Really enjoyed that. New one for me, but you know, this Ashover Brewery, I absolutely love that company. They do their range, so many different types of beers. Yeah, old golden and it's okay, but there's better uh, from Moreland. Moreland makes some nice beers. So, got to kill this review so I can put the next review on. Thank you everyone for commenting, subscribing and liking. And uh, I'll see you in about two minutes. Two minutes. It won't take long. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Sorry for cutting conversations off. I do hate cutting people's conversations off. Cheers. And I've got my phone on charge. Oh, I thought me I can't press the button.